right, so now that the wall behind me is painted, I actually quite like how that gray turned out. So yeah, I think we're gonna keep it like that. Next project is on the other side of the room, that being this separate room right here. I think I have yet to show you what's behind this door, so let's check that out right now. And... Nothing. The only thing in here is a great echo. I, there's a different color light bulb. That's why it looks different in here. The only actual cool thing in here is that massive escape hatch steel door. And it is actually, it's like an emergency exit, like a bomb shelter. Look at that thing. That's like 30 mil steel plate. Okay, I can't do anything about that, but this room, I really don't have any use for it. So what we're gonna do right now, is tear it down. That's gonna be fun. Hey guys, what's up? I'm not keeping any of this, so there's no reason of taking it easy. off the wall so the next step will be to remove the structure here which is not super sturdy as you can see we'll take out the door remove the frame chop it up into pieces so let's just get the wall turned down clean this place up and get on with the exciting stuff that we want to build in here just look at the amount of trash all this made that's 14 garbage bags just from the drywall alone Ugh. Clean 
up this mess. cleaning up the space after we made a total mess of it, tearing down that little room in the corner. I moved all the stuff into the center, and the reason why I did that is because I wanna paint the walls before I put anything on them. Anyways, so it's time to get some paint on the walls and try to make this place look a little bit better. So we're just gonna start with painting everything plain white, uh, and I actually think that I might try that spray gun again for a little bit more detailed work, uh, like around the door and the pipes. masked off all the windows, all the electrical stuff, all the way around and up against the walls so we don't spill paint anywhere. But masking off this stuff took so long. I'm not sure I can be bothered to actually paint this. I think I'll just do this in post. Yeah, let's, let's see if that works. Um, we're gonna set the camera up and then... So I'm gonna take lunch now and then I'll let future me figure it out on a computer, whatever. Ah. All right, let's see if we can do this the easy way. I've got the video imported. I'm just gonna go ahead and select a brush and... Oh, that kind of worked. I'll try another brush. Ha. Huh. A little bit bigger maybe? Ah, oh. yeah, there we go. All right, let's see if we can paint in this thing. Looks like I'm back from lunch. Also looks like I'm pretty happy with this. Also, that day I forgot to put on a microphone, so he doesn't have any comments, I guess. Let's see if we can get myself to move the camera for us. Sorry, got a little carried away there. We'll paint it in normally and I'll have myself move the camera. That really wasn't as bad as I thought. It went pretty smoothly. I did the ceiling too. Oh man, I wish it was this easy every time. Well, now that it's so nice and bright in here and everything is painted, I think it would be nice to change out the lights as well. Let's see if we can't do that the easy way too. Okay, let's see if this works. Looks like we're halfway there. So those are new ones and those are old ones. The new ones are 5,400 Kelvin. 
which are nice and cold. That's why on the screen now it appears to be very blue. But as soon as we change that side as well, we can change the light balance and the colors will look much better again. Okay, so let's do that. Are you ready? Nice, that's more like it. Hold on, I don't think the vibe balance is adjusted quite yet. Let's do that. Oh, there we go. What do you guys think? Pretty nice, huh? So, why did that change to these light bulbs? Well, let me tell you. These video lights you've seen me use in the past, and sometimes in the previous clips, you've seen the ba white balance kind of like shift to more yellow, more blue, more yellow, more blue. And that is because I wasn't paying attention and I had set the camera to auto white balance. And then he can't really decide which one of the lights it adjusts to. Because this light is 5,400 Kelvin. And the previous old lights I had in here, I think were like 3,000. So that's why it looks super yellow in the background when I light my face with this. And also why I would look super blue if I had adjusted the white balance to the lights here. But now, none of that is an issue anymore because now both the lights in the ceiling and all my video lights are the same exact color. Ah. This one is obviously super bright, but you can see the color remains the same. I'm happy that's taken care of. That's been bothering me for a little while. Another thing that's really been bothering me since I moved in is the lack of organization in this place. Now all my stuff is just in the corner over there, so I think it's time to put up some shelves and I'm gonna put those up right on that wall. Next step is to mount these guys, which will be holding the shelves. And it's a pretty modular system. It consists of different lengths of these, I just the biggest ones. And the way these guys work is that you simply take off this plastic strip to begin with. This goes on again at the end. And then this clicks in pretty simply like that. And they're actually Pretty strong. So we're gonna end this episode right here. Thank you so much for watching. We got a ton of stuff done in the workshop today. It's finally starting to look like a workshop and I've got tons of new stuff planned. I hope you wanna join me on this journey. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, maybe give it a thumbs up, maybe subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.
sounds like an empty swimming pool. I don't know how that sounds like, but anyways, 